Мир ваш. It's okay. Fine. I'm a <coughs> Orthodox Christian and I I'm looking for people who want to talk about God, about eternity. Uh, do you want to talk about that? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you believe in God? Uh, in what sense? I think a direct sense. Just uh, do you believe that... In the Orthodox Christian God? That version? Or do I believe in like Zeus? Or do I believe in Thor? Like which one are we talking about? Sorry, I didn't got... We said God. There's there's a, there's multiple gods across multiple religions. So which one are you asking me to believe in? Uh, so I I was asking about general, in general sense. But uh, if you want, I I, I would ask uh, in sense of uh, Orthodox Christianity. So do you believe that way? No, I'd have to say no to that. Ah. I see. Um, and, and do you believe that uh, there is uh, a person uh, maybe who rule our life or something like that? No. So, uh, and you suppose that uh, you rule your, your life yourself, right? No, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that either. Based on quantum physics. Oh, okay. So, uh, and do you uh, uh, do you have Bible in your uh, home? Uh, actually, yeah, I do. I have a uh, Russian Orthodox Bible that I just got from a client not too long ago. Russian Orthodox Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I've never opened it. I see, I see, I, I got that you didn't. So you haven't read Bible, right? No, I've read the Bible before. I, I was raised, uh, I was raised uh, Catholic. Catholic. So, and, but you don't believe like a Catholic? Not anymore, no, I used to, big time, but not anymore. Oh, poor. <laughs> and uh, what, what made you not to believe, not believe. A lot of things. Uh, I would say like the biggest turning point for me was probably the, uh, the Zeitgeist documentary, if you ever saw that. Oh, sorry. Uh, your English is very fluent and I'm Russian. I just uh, don't get every word. Uh, can you... There's a documentary called The Zeitgeist. A documentary. Do you know what a documentary is? Documentary. So. A movie. Ah, okay. It's a movie. It's called The Zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. So I, I haven't seen that film. Or movie. Yeah. It's a, do you know what a documentary is? Uh. Are you asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. documentary. It's like uh, it's not a, it's not, it's a movie, but it's a, uh, it's based on real events, real life events. Hmm. So I, uh, I guess I haven't seen that movie, but because I don't know that name, the title mm -hmm. of the movie. And uh, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I stopped believing in God. Um. Uh, Okay, uh, just uh, let me let me tell you that uh, we are here in this chat roulette uh, just for the uh, purpose to tell people about Jesus Christ. And uh, if you want to uh, to get more, do you know who Horus is? Sorry. Do you know who Horus is? H O R U S Horus. Horus. Uh, 
I don't Egyptian know. Egyptian god Horus. I think that in Russian it's a little bit uh, different pronunciation. It's not that different, but it's uh, it's. I mean, he had thirteen disciples. Was betrayed by his best friend. Was murdered, resurrected after three days. Could walk on water. So you familiar with Horus, girl. Uh, and he was an Egyptian god that was that predated Christianity by I think like four or five thousand years. Are you familiar with the Council of Nicaea? No, let's back up. You're confused. What are you confused about about Horus? So the name of this of this uh, you say god? Uh, yes, he uh, was an Egyptian god. Are you familiar with Egy like Egyptian culture, Egyptian history at all? Mm, no. They weren't monolithic. They believed in uh, a plethora of gods. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Egypt, I, I know Egypt, that they Egypt, are... pyramids. Yeah, I know that they, they had idols. Yes, but Different. are you familiar with Horus? So, the, and this, this name is not... Uh, I don't know this name. Actually. Yeah, so you should Google Horus because uh, he has Horus has basically the exact same origin story as Jesus Christ did, but he predates Christianity by like four thousand years. Uh, I see. So I, I do see. Have, what... Do you have anything to say to that? Like, does that not does that not like strike a a, a light bulb in your head? Like, hey, what's going on here? I I see what you mean. You mean that uh, Christianity just took the idea. From, uh, from well, are you story, familiar right? with the Council of Nicaea? Council of Nicaea... I haven't heard... It's about. when uh, the uh, Roman Emperor Nero got together with the Catholic Church and they decided what um, testimonials to use for the, uh, the King James Bible, which is what you follow, correct? King James Bible is uh, English version, right? Yeah, it's like the standard uh, Christian Bible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but are you familiar with the Council of Nicaea? Council of Nicaea? No, I, I'm not familiar. I think, or I, or maybe just uh, in Russian it, again, it's a little bit different. Council of Nicaea. Council of Nicaea. So, do you know there's like 56 different um, stories about Jesus' life? And they only chose like four. I think it's like three or four to actually go into the actual Bible. I know that there are uh, different stories, but... Uh, yeah, only, exactly. So, the Council of Nicaea was the ones that, that got together and they decided which stories would go into the mainstream Bible, which is what we know today. So, for instance, there was like there was a version of Jesus where he was uh, really big and like um, sleeping around. So, he would like go around and like have sex with all these different people. Uh, there's a version where he's a murderer. There's a version where him and Mary Magdalene are married and they have children. There's a version where he's not the son of God. He's just some dude who's trying to like t teach um, like health and wellness practices to everyone. Yeah, I have heard. But the uh, Council of Nicaea versions. got together and chose the, f the versions that they thought would be able to control the masses the most quote-unquote, the most biblical sense of it, and then um, use that to what what we refer to now as the modern Christian Bible. Okay, I got it. You speak about, you tell me about uh, different stories. Uh, there were about uh, 20 uh, Gospels, and only four yeah. were chosen. And uh, there was a miracle how they were chosen. There's more than 20, there's more than 20. Maybe, maybe, but uh, it was a miracle how they were chosen. And, uh, it they, was a miracle? Yeah, it was a miracle. Bishops... Who said how so? Uh, bishops 
just uh, put the Gospels uh, at the altar and uh, closed the uh, church and then in the morning they opened it and there were only four Gospels uh, on the altar. All, all the rest that? were on the Come floor. Come on, man. Yeah, of course. You don't believe that. Sure. And I believe... Dude, come on, bro. That's crazy, bro. No, no, that's not true. And they say that's crazy for many years. For uh, maybe hundreds or thousands of years. It's, it's a little... It's... How old is the Earth? How old do you think the Earth is? About... Uh, 7,000 years. <laughs> according, according to what? So, according to this book. So it's 7,000 years old? What about all the scientists that agree that there's, like, the fossils that predate that by millions of years? I don't believe in it, uh, because uh, they could, uh, they cannot, uh, uh, they cannot, uh, they cannot tell that th this is true. And uh, how can you, how can you prove that God is true? Uh, I feel it you in can. my life. I feel it in my life. Yeah, but I could say that I feel, I feel science. Do you see what I'm saying? So the uh, the science in uh, many uh, in many ways. Uh, doesn't a con conflict with uh, belief. It does or does not? Doesn't conflict. It does not? Uh, I think... So. I suppose that does not conflict. So the... I would disagree, dude. You just said the Earth is 7,000 years old, bro. That conflicts with a ton of science. But there are many uh, scientists who... Uh, study the Bible and they believe uh, the information in it, in it actually and they are scientists yeah but what's the percentage of those who do believe in it and those who don't in terms of scientists it's got to be I would I would I would assume most most scientists don't believe that the earth is 7,000 years old man come on so do you believe in dinosaurs Dinosaurs, uh, I don't know. It's it's not a it's not an important question for our uh, for our safe. Okay. How old are you? Thirty. Thirty. Happy birthday. How old are you? Twenty six. Oh. Okay. I like your beard, by the way, man. You got the nice beard going. Yeah, the, so God made me like that, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't just cut it, you shouldn't shave it. Why not? Because, uh, because God uh, said that men have beards and women do not have, and uh, we should follow uh. it. So you don't like the, how I trimmed it up here? Uh, sorry? You're saying I should just grow my beard out? Yeah. Sure, but <laughs> in case you believe, in case you believe. If you do not believe, there, there is no sense. Yeah, does it upset you that I'm not a believer? Uh, sorry, <laughs> I didn't get. Does it upset you that I'm not a believer? So, yeah, it upsets me. Because uh, Jesus Christ said us uh, that we should tell all the people who we meet about him, about his... About... Uh, mm, the most important thing that he died for our sins. He died for mm. us. And he died for me individually. And for you, of course, but in case you believe. So in so, what I, so if I don't believe, do I go to hell? 
unfortunately. So uh, uh, our death. Come is... on, man! You think it's a righteous god, or is that an evil god? Uh, you th you think that uh, it's very bad that you go to hell if you do not follow uh, God's uh, I I don't know how to say it uh, God's ways, for example. Why does God give kids cancer? Is he, is he evil or is he just say he doesn't give a shit? God is love. God is God is love? Yeah. What if you're a kid who has like heart cancer? Cancer. And you, you Children. Children are born with can and they die with cancer. That doesn't seem very uh, biblical to me. That a uh, an all-seeing presence would give a child cancer. Okay, Whereas but, but... You, were, you were born, and now you're age thirty, and now you're preaching the gospel of this God who kills kids with cancer. So now you are starting to believe in God, yeah? And uh, no, you, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> I'm just, I'm asking you. I'm like, why do you, if you believe in such an omnipresent force? Okay, Does that seem pretty uh, evil to you? I will that try, seems evil, yeah? I will try to answer you, because we believe not in, not only in this life, right? We believe that there is a uh, next step of our life after death, and you don't yeah. know where these children are. Maybe this cancer is uh, like um, a very difficult step for them to get to heaven. Oh, you drink. All the people here <laughs> drink. Do you mind not drinking? While we are talking. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, try, try not to, because we are... Uh, we should not uh, talk to people who drink or smoke here. Does that, does that offend, offend you? No, it uh, doesn't offend, but uh, you destroy your body. Is it alcoholic uh, drink? No, it's just uh, it's just sparkling water. Water. Ah. Okay. Sparkling water. It's like carbonated water. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got it. With fermented oh. grapes. Sparkling water. I know it. Um, okay, I got it. But uh, <laughs> it's not uh, it's not the way uh, that people talk. They drink. What's behind you? Is that a what, what's that little? Do uh, you have like a napkin set up? What is that? Yeah, it's a napkin. Is it really a napkin? Yeah, because uh, there is a TV under the under this napkin. You don't want to show the TV. Uh, it's just uh, for uh, like a background visuals yeah respect <laughs> respect are you into uh camera work at all like videography camera camera stuff uh, you, you mean the, if i record it no no do you uh do you do like any camera like anything related to cameras Oh, sorry, I, uh, I cannot get the question. <laughs> I'm very sorry, because uh, I do not practice English, uh, actually. Uh, oh, dude, you have, dude, dude, you have great English, man. You speak great English. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, man. Because... Uh, I, can un I can understand you. Actually, I studied English, but uh, I do not practice it, and uh, I, I just... Uh, I was thinking that I will meet Russian, <laughs> and here you are. Uh, what country yeah, do you live in? I don't speak Russian. Okay. Never mind. Take it easy. Are you skipping me? No, no, not yet. <laughs> you just said that uh, you don't speak Russian, and uh, I say never mind. 
because uh, we, oh, you said take it easy, and I, that usually that means like later, like I'll see you later. Ah, okay, okay, I got it. So uh, I will not uh, say like that next time. And uh, what country do you live in? United States. Oh, United States. Okay. Yes, sir. That's great that uh, I met. I live in California. Do you know what California is? Uh, yes, I know. Have you been to California? No, I haven't been to America. Oh no, I feel like you'd like it over here. So I, I wouldn't like to to go to America actually. Why not? Because I'm here and uh, it's very good here in Russia <laughs> at home, actually. Uh, if I go to this country, which you believe in, is just for gospel. I would like to uh, to go there to preach. As to preach. Say. Yeah. But not to see different things in this country. We have uh, Google, we have a different, some other different things that uh, can help us to see uh, these, I don't know, sites of different countries. Yeah. I have a feeling you don't really care, though, too much about other countries. You think I, I, I do not care? Yeah. Maybe. I like it. Do you have the top button buttoned right there? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I, that I, looks, I like that. It looks good on you. Because it's, a, it's order. And uh, you feel that you are ready for action. I, I mean, not... To... <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you wearing two different types of cloth? Different types. Doesn't that, isn't it in the Bible that if you wear two different types of cloth, it's uh, it's a sin? Uh, I I don't think that it's a sin, but uh, it uh, it helps you to be ready, something like that, and uh, to to be ready to follow God's words and to uh, to gospel. Is that uh, such a verb, gospel? Uh, yeah, no, that works. I, I mean, uh, can I say that I want to gospel, for example? Preach, you want to preach. Preach, yeah, I think it's some different word. Okay. So, uh, if you don't know... <laughs> If you want to get some more information about Jesus Christ and uh, Orthodox Christianity, I would, uh, I can uh, give you some materials, some resources. Yeah, could you? Uh, I do not see any text box here. Is there any? I mean, can I text to you here or not? It's the first time I hear I'm here. No, you, I don't think you can text. You can text anything to me now. Oh, poor thing, because uh, uh, these resource, resources mostly Russian. There are some things in English, but uh, mostly they are Russian. Mm. So. Uh, uh, one of the resources is YouTube channel in light of Bible with opened eye. So it's the name of the channel. If if you want, you can just. My man, hey, I appreciate you. Sorry. I appreciate. I said I appreciate you. Appreciate. Why? Yeah, I appreciate you, man. You're you're a good guy. I appreciate you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll see you next time, all right? Okay, of course.